welcome to another episode of Straight Out of Camera. Today I'm talking about a recipe I made on my X-T1 I call 1979. This recipe has been posted on my blog for a little while, so if you've seen the recipes on my blog, you may have run into this one already. But I haven't made a video of it yet, so I figured it's time to do that. A while back, I made a recipe called Gold Leaf. And although I really liked that one, I felt it was too extreme for many lighting situations. Since gold leaf was a little extreme, I thought I'd make another one that's a little more subtle. Another recipe that you could use in a lot of different lighting situations, but yet still had a locked in white balance setting. I know I sound like a broken record with this point, but I don't create any of these to mimic any certain specific film stock. Uh, I mimic uh, certain photos I see or just a general vibe. This one I created based on some street photography photos that I really liked from the 1970s, early 80s. I wanted something that had a vintage vibe to it, a vintage feel. For this recipe, I started with Astia as the base film simulation. I increased the dynamic range setting. I adjusted some of the other settings to give it the vintage feel that it has. Specifically, you're gonna see a yellowish gold tint to some of the parts of the image. Uh, in the samples that I show, you'll see that in some of the concrete or some of the sides of the buildings, especially the areas that are grabbing the sunlight. It's going to magnify a bit of that color. But it's not so extreme that any other color in the image is really thrown too far off. Just like with some of the other recipes. Depending on your lighting situation, some photos may reflect these settings a little more dramatically than other scenarios. Since the last few episodes of Straight Out of Camera, I highlighted recipes that I created on my X-H1. I figured I'd revisit some of the recipes I created on my X-T1. And this 1979 recipe is one of those. I made it on my X-T1, just like with some of the other ones. My goal is to really explore all the possibilities of this camera. And there are a lot of cool things you can do with it, even though you don't have a grain settings and you don't have some of the other options the newer cameras do. But one of the key aspects to explore, to expand all your options, is in the white balance and the color shift settings. Just like with some of my other recipes, this does have a locked in white balance setting, but that really helps give it the look that it has. Reducing sharpness and noise reduction are also key factors that help play into that vintage feel. I have yet to transfer this setting to my X-H1, but I will do that soon and I'm looking forward to it because it will obviously be able to take all the settings as they are, as well as add the option of grain to the recipe. So that could be really interesting. Give this 1979 recipe a shot. Let me know how it works out for you. It should be really effective during the day and give you some really cool vintage vibes uh, for your street photography. And keep an eye on this channel for more straight out of camera episodes. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon.